This is the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven, and this video is my first impressions of it. Welcome to the Culture of Cookery. Okay, so when you turn this thing on, there are different buttons, obviously, that you see up top. Uh, the first one looks to be the rotisserie button, so when you got your chicken happening in there, it'll spin the thing. Uh, this button turns on the light inside, turns off, turns on, and if you leave it on, it does make a really irritating sound. Uh, I gotta say, that is a really ear-piercing noise. Also, there's kind of two tiers of things that you can do. So the air fryer button is going to illuminate those two rows and the oven button is going to illuminate the bottom options that you have. To switch between them, you have this button here, which is supposed to select which one it is. But again, it does make a pretty piercing sound. So before you can use the air fryer machine, you have to kind of fry off any chemicals or whatever's in there. So the instruction booklet recommends that you turn it to air fryer, turn it to steak, hit this thing, and then the time you want 20 minutes. 20 minutes, and then hit start, I guess. The other thing that the instructions say is that you need to have space on both sides, a couple inches out this way, a couple inches in the back and a couple inches on the side which again, you need that counter space to do so. So before you even kind of think about buying that, that's something you should consider. So up to number one, there's definitely, maybe you can't see it, but there's a little bit of a haze that's coming off this thing. It, it does have like a little bit of a funky smell to it. That is definitely something that they already said would happen in the instruction manual. Nothing evil or sinister apparently, so. It is now off. Uh, when it is off, it does that little blinky thing, and as you can hear, there is some noise. Kind of what I would expect for a air fryer to make. It's not like super quiet, but it's also not um, extremely loud. Kind of like maybe a microwave that is on. The other thing that I'm noticing is it's warm to the touch, but it is blazing hot on all of this metal piece here and right there. Even the handles are pretty hot in certain spots. So I would also be kind of careful and wary of that. One thing that I have noticed is that you can kind of see that there is a crack between the doors. And I can see that maybe being a problem if you're trying to get an even heat on something, but we'll see throughout testing. The thing that I'm not in love with is the fact that these doors um, kind of automatically close. If I pull it halfway and let go, it kind of closes. The doors feel a little bit floppy. Even if I pull it out most of the way, there's still a tendency for it to push in. So that French door action, really cool. I know that a lot of air fryers are the kind of tray that you pull in and pull out. That is kind of a unique feature. Uh, definitely aesthetically pleasing. I love the, the stainless steel on it. Uh, the buttons are nice and bright. But the one thing that I will say is a little bit difficult to deal with is that sound. If you wait even a second, it beeps, which is a little bit of an annoying feature. The first thing that we're gonna try is I have some old pizza from last night and we're just gonna heat it up in the air fryer and see what's up. Apparently before you use this machine, you have to preheat it. That's fine. So 10 minutes of preheating and then we'll toss the pizza in. You'll notice right here, they have the different kinds of levels that you should be putting things. So this is the level that I want, baked pizza, I think. So I'm gonna put this in, put it on the tray, and let my pizza bake. Now, could I have done this in a microwave? 
sure you could but what happens when you put pizza in a microwave you all know it gets soggy on the bottom the cheese melts and it gets overcooked so ideally you throw it in the oven and if you can air fry it you know why not and that's my daughter i'm gonna go get her okay so i'm just gonna hit stop on this and this looks like toasted times so as we can see nice crispy bottom the pizza has been reconstituted up top cheese is kind of melted and oh hot a little bit warm but heat it up properly so this is obviously not um, right after the video. I actually lost the footage because I don't know what happened to it. So um, here are my closing thoughts on the caloric air fryer oven. Let's go. So number one is it has a vast variety of functions which are really exciting to use. The air frying, dehydrating, beef jerky. What else is there? Rotisserie, you can rotisserie things. Is that the word? Uh, you could donair things, I don't know. Um, so a lot of different functions, really excited to try those. So that's number one. Number two, build quality seems really, really great. That kind of stainless steel look. It looks like it's built to last and everything so far has been pretty good with the exception maybe of those French doors. They seem a little bit floppy. Don't eat too much spinach before you open the door and you won't break it off. Or like get your pre-meal protein shake in, I guess. The third thing is preheating is really, really quick and the actual cooking process is relatively quick. So that's pretty exciting in terms of if you're in a rush and you need to get a meal out quick, bang it out. You're not waiting half an hour for something to heat up. Three bad things in terms of my initial impressions is number one, it is a pretty bulky machine. This is definitely not a machine that you're gonna pull in and out of the cupboard as it's just way too bulky. So you need to have a designated area in the house, maybe even a designated room for the caloric air fryer oven because it's that big. Number two is, uh, I would say that the beeping is pretty absurd. Wake your baby up loud. It's not even like a pleasant beep, like a soft, like, you know, sultry beep. I don't know. It's just a really like, and it's, uh, I, I can't, I can't even, man. Caloric, please address that beeping sound or at least find a way to turn it off. Just give me the click. The click of the, the dial is good enough. I don't need the beep. Then three, the kind of front area is pretty warm because there's a little bit of a gap between the two French doors. Even when you're touching the handles, it gets a little bit hot. So you need to have your oven mitts on, which I think is like a little bit of a design miss. You should just be able to grab it. And then I suppose you would always have a mitt in anyways as you're grabbing something, but I don't know. So all in all, uh, this is just a first impressions video. Um, I will be doing a full review of this, uh, looking at every one of the different functions. Um, and if that's something that you would like to see or know about, please let me know down in the comments. So if this brought any value to you, just please hit that subscribe button. Give it a little, you know, just like one of those. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.